other infrastructure to AWS, failover and failback. You can perform an assisted failback through the Cloud Endure User Console on the Cloud Endure Failback Client from any source infrastructure to an AWS target infrastructure. In our case, an on-premise Ubuntu machine to AWS US East North Virginia. Performing the failover First, you must perform a failover. Verify that all of your source machines show continuous data protection under the Data Replication Progress column. That the status column shows that a target machine can be launched. And that the disaster recovery lifecycle shows tested as the status. Perform the failover by checking the box to the left of each source machine. Opening the Launch Target Machines menu, and selecting Recovery in Mode. Click Next on the Launch Target Machine dialog. Select the recovery point. You can either choose the latest or a previous recovery point. Click Continue with Launch. The Cloud Endure console will launch the target machines in recovery in mode. You can review the launch progress in the Job Progress tab. Once the failover is complete, all of the source machines in the project will show the target launched icon and the failed over status under the Disaster Recovery Lifecycle column. You should perform the actual failover by directing traffic to your target machines using the tool or means you use for directing traffic. The user console assumes that a target machine launched in recovery mode was failed over, even though you perform the actual failover outside of Cloud Endure. Performing the failback The failback is initiated by reversing the direction of data replication from the target machine back to the source machine. This is achieved through the Prepare for Failback action within the Project Actions menu. Click Continue on the Prepare for Failback dialog. Once the Prepare for Failback action is performed, the project will display Preparing for Failback to Original Source next to the project type. The console will reverse the direction of data replication and your machines will show the Pair the Cloud Endure Agent with the Replication Server status under the Data Replication Progress column. In order to copy the backed up data from your failed over virtual AWS machines into your original source machines, you will need to pair the machines with the replication server by booting them through the Cloud Endure Failback Client. To download the Failback Client, navigate to Setup and Info, Replication Settings, Replicating Data Back to the Original Site. Click on the Downloaded From Here link. The Failback Client will be downloaded. The failback client functions as a standalone replication server. You will need to run the failback client on your original on-premise source machine, which is currently functioning as your target due to the direction reversal performed by the prepare for failback action. Once the failback client has been downloaded, boot your on-premise machine with a failback ISO file. Enter your Cloud Endure installation token. You can find the token by navigating to the Machines tab. Machine Actions Add Machines Enter the ID of the source machine. You can locate the source machine ID by navigating to the Machines tab. Clicking on the machine name and opening the source tab within the machine details view. Copy the ID field and paste it into the failback client. The failback client will install the replication server and begin replication. This may take some time. Once replication has begun, the machines will be added to the Cloud Endure User Console and will undergo the initiation process until they reach the Continuous Data Protection status under the Data Replication Progress column. This indicates that the direction of data replication has been reversed successfully. Once the machines have reached Continuous Data Protection, you will need to launch new target machines for those source machines. This will copy the backed up data from your failed over virtual AWS machines into your original source machines, which have been temporarily reversed to serve as target machines. Prior to launch, you can edit the failback settings of each machine, if necessary. Click on the machine name and navigate to the failback settings tab. Edit any settings as necessary. Click save replication settings if any changes were made. After making setting changes, check the box to the left of each machine and click on test machines. Click Next on the Test Machines dialog. Continuous data replication from your temporary recovery machine will cease and you will be able to test the operation of your original source machine. Select the latest recovery point and click Continue with Launch. The console will launch the target machines.
Once the launch process is complete, the console will show the pair the cloud Endure agent with the replication server status under the data replication progress column. You now either repeat the previous steps, and continue to test the machines by replicating the data through the cloud Endure failback client. If you are done with testing and have replicated all of your data from AWS back to your original source infrastructure, then you can proceed to the next step. For the purposes of this video, we will proceed to returning the project to normal operations. The final step to the failback is returning the machines back to normal operation. This will yet again reverse the direction of data replication, moving the direction of data replication from the now restored source machine back to the target. This will return your newly recovered machines to their normal functioning state. To return to normal operations, open the Project Actions menu, and click on Return to Normal Operation. Click Continue on the Return to Normal dialog. The direction of data replication will be reversed and your machines will again undergo the initiation sequence. The failback process is complete once all the machines display the continuous data protection status under the data replication progress column.